Windows are celebrating your unstoppable drive. Save up to 45% on powerful PCs with Windows 10 Pro to work from anywhere, plus top monitors and docks for the ultimate business setup, all with easy financing options through Dell Financial Services. Speak to a Dell Technologies advisor who can help you find the right business tech, server, storage, and cloud solutions at 877-ASK-DELL. That's 877-ASK-DELL for Small Business Month savings. I know about courage. I learned from my adoptive mom. She said sometimes you just gotta hold on and know we'll get through this. Mom, we are so high up. Hold my hand. <laughs> no, you hold my hand. Here we go. <laughs> Learn about adopting a teen from foster care. You can't imagine the reward. Visit AdoptUSKids.org to find out more. This message is brought to you by Adopt US Kids, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, and the Ad Council. An inspector has been fired after failing to see a huge crack in a major bridge in the Mid-South. The inspector who failed to discover a major crack in a support beam on the I-40 bridge over the Mississippi River at Memphis, Tennessee, has been fired and could face criminal charges. Lori Tudor heads up the Arkansas Department of Transportation. The way we're supposed to inspect a bridge is you literally go inch by inch along that beam and phys physically inspect every inch of the beam. That did not happen. The nearly 50-year-old bridge that carries 50,000 cars and trucks a day was closed a week ago. There's no timeline when it will be reopened. Jim Crisula, CBS News. New York Mets outfielder Kevin Pillar suffered multiple nasal fractures when he was hit in the face by a fastball. The team says he's set to meet with a facial specialist in Atlanta to determine the next steps. Pillar was drilled square in the nose last night by a 95-mile-per-hour pitch from Braves reliever Jacob Webb. Matt Piper, CBS News. WPTV's first alert weather on WPSL is brought to you by Seacoast Air Conditioning. Now with a look at our forecast, here's meteorologist Steve Villanueva. Hey there, everyone. Steve Villanueva here. Just really pleasant weather here in South Florida. Temperatures running a little bit below average, lower to the middle 80s. The humidity is comfortable. Not much rainfall around there, around the area this evening. But as we head to the next few days, we could have about a 20 to 30 percent chance of a shower or a thunderstorm here or there. Otherwise, temperatures are comfy. The big story this week will be the winds. By the time we get to Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, the winds really start to pick on up with wind gusts up to about 30 miles an hour. I'm WPTV First Alert Meteorologist Steve Linueva for WPSL 1590, the talk of the Treasure Coast. At Seacoast Air Conditioning, they believe in three basic fundamentals. Answer the phone, show up on time, and fix the problem right the first time. Seacoast Air, family owned and operated since 1982, waiting to answer your call 24-7. Comfort crisis, don't roast, call Seacoast. <laughs> Views expressed on the following program are not necessarily those of WPSL. However, you are encouraged to like and share them on social media like Facebook, YouTube. Send them to your friends, too. Always an exciting topic. Careology, the science of caring. Presented by CareBag. And your host, Roxy. Thank you, Cliff. Thank you. Hello and good evening, everyone. My name is Roxy, and I just want to welcome you to our show tonight. And I hope every had, everyone had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. If you are tuning in with us for the first time, welcome. Again, my name is Roxy. I'm the host of Careology, and Careology is about the science of caring. <clears throat> my apologies. Careology is from Carebag Incorporated. Carebag Incorporated is a nonprofit, and what we do on Carebag is one simple little thing. We provide access of proper hygiene items. Everyone has a right to be clean, a right to shower, a right to shave, a right to sh shut your mouth. Let's not go there. <laughs> but everyone has a right to proper hygiene. And the United Nations says it best, and I love their quote, proper hygiene is a right, not a privilege. And that is what we do at Carebag Incorporated. So Careology is a subsidiary of Carebag Incorporated a nonprofit that supplies the Treasure Coast and West Palm Beach, and we are proud. We have two mobile shower units, the first of its kind mobile hygiene pantry in the state of Florida, and we have a brick and mortar where families, elderly, 
anyone, the veterans, anyone in need, agencies come that we can supply our community with good health. During this pandemic, we do not want to repeat this again. And supplying soap, supplying toilet paper, supplying things that families cannot afford. The same way you saw all those long, long lines of food and securities, government assistance just does food. And I have a guest here with me. Isn't that correct, T? Yes, I am. Oh, T, you got to talk up to the mic, sweetie. All right. I am here. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and a lot of people don't know that. They think if you get government assistance, you're good. You got everything. Government assistance does not cover toilet paper, tampons, pads, depends, soap, razors, toilet paper. I can go on and on. Just walk into your bathroom and look around. All those essentials that you need as toothbrush and toothpaste. Families, some families just cannot afford it. Some kids can't go to school, or if they go to school or they go to work, they're teased. We provide an essential, an essential items that families can go ahead and have just live day to day and just be proud and just have dignity just you know none of us did you think about taking a shower this morning yes i did you did mm -hmm. well i knew i had to come here and i was like crap i gotta take a shower and i hopped up turned on the water hopped in the shower <laughs> i didn't think about it i just i, I turned on the water because i know i have a washcloth i got soap good smelling soap i didn't think about it it just we just did it yeah, just and did it. a lot of people just don't know a lot of people don't really th think about it, but there's some that have to think about it. There are four people, five people in the house. Do I have soap to last? Do I have toothpaste to last? That's true. And some girls, oh my goodness, my month is on. I can't go to school. I can't go to work. So you miss an education. So if you're tuning in with us, it's a mouthful. It's a lot, but that's what we do. And careology is about the science of caring. If there is a resource that someone is doing that is benefiting our community we want to know about it we want to let the masses know because knowledge is power there's a lot of things i found out just by being in the right place at the right time and some people just don't know um we're just gonna take so before i keep going i, I just said t Teresa <laughs> is a friend of mine but me and Teresa met in vero Oh, Teresa, we, we, we don't act, we know you're cute, but we need you to talk to the mic. Talk to the mic. Talk to the mic. There we go. We can hear her better. Okay. Yep. There you go. Cause they, they can't, they can okay. see us, but they can't. Okay. And uh, I went to Gifford at the Gifford Youth Center and yes. that's where I met Teresa. And uh, I was like, wow. I was like, look at Cliff. I was like, look at this chick. I mean, there were food lines. It's when the pandemic hit and we had what, three, 400 cars. It was quite a few. I mean, we had you yeah. couldn't see you couldn't see the end of the line. Right. It was it was just like wow. You couldn't see the end of the line, and we went out there and I introduced myself and we brought our mobile hygiene pantry out there, and I think my husband was with me. Bishop was with me the first time we went, and you couldn't see the end of the line, and there she was. This is I mean it's a massive operation at the Gifford Youth Center. We still go there. We were lucky enough during the pandemic to have United Way Indian River um, go ahead and fund us that we can come out there with even more supplies to give during the pandemic. And one thing I love, me and Teresa hit it off, I call her T, but we hit it off because she does something a little extraordinary that I like, Cliff. It's like we're talking about her and she's not here. <laughs> <laughs> and what she does is she makes sure that the elderly and the shut-in have what they need. Everything from depends to soap to food. We were getting ensure. Yes. We were getting make we had all those little things. So one, they wouldn't come out the house during the pandemic. At least we're talking good about her. Though. Oh yeah, we're talking <laughs> good. That's right. We're Thank talking you. good. But what she did, I was like, wow, you know, this was her on her time and doing it. And I was like, okay, I was like, I love this. And we just hit it off. So Care Bag is always in Gifford once a month. And if we're needed or supplies are needed, T would call me. I'll go to Vero. And most of the time, on it, to be honest, she comes down here. Roxy, I need it. When are you going to be here? I'll meet you. And she'll come to our office. She'll get what she needs for the families, especially the elders. She has a heart for the elderly. 
That's where her heart is at. She loves everyone, but her heart is really for the elderly to make sure they're not abused, to make sure they're treated right, to make sure they have what they need. Because a lot of people are still going through tough times. Uh, this hasn't ended. Not because, yes, Florida acts, Florida looks like it's never been closed, but we're back open. <laughs> we're quotes. So I have my quote fingers up. We're back open and she just she still keeps making sure that this is done and hat my hat off to you i'm not gonna take it off but my <laughs> hat off to you and my applause because i know how hard it is and i know what you do is even harder so i i really love that and i'm it's a privilege to know you and to and to be within that space but i want you to tell us a little more because i know a little bit i want you to start telling us a little bit more of what you do Okay, while, while T gets ready. There's another thing that we can't say enough is that uh, as far as for shelters for homeless people here in this area. What shelters? Yeah, right. I should say we have pet shelters, we got a but whole we lot don't of have them. anything for humans. See, I have to be careful when I say that because some people think, okay, so Roxy's going to, I know my board is like, oh my goodness, what, sh what Roxy's going to do? So I'm just going to let everyone know, when you hear me keep saying, oh, we got a whole lot of pet shelters, but we don't have any animal shelters, I don't want anyone to get it confused or twisted that I don't like pets. I got a big old almost 80-pound baby at my house with a whole lot of fur, and he's shedding, and I'm sweeping up over him. And if you hurt him, only God can help you because that is my baby. But I think that we spend so much time worrying about what we do with the animals. Yeah that we don't worry about the families that are sitting in cars. I just got a text from someone. Um, I'm not going to put the name out because, you know, we're going to, we're, we're on radio. We don't want every, we don't, we do dignity. So we're not going to want everybody's business out here. But I just got a text from one of my, here it is. And this is what it says. Okay. Because I, I want to make sure I see it because I don't want to call you. Hello. I have a new associate who we just hired. So that means this person just got a job. Amen. Okay. She was told um, she was told this week that the home that she is living in is being sold and they asked her to vacate to leave by Friday to be out of the house. It is herself, her fiance and her three kids ages four, three and three months. Am I reading it right? T? You're right. OK. I don't know her as of yet because she just started. Um, but she said that she has nowhere to go. Just reaching out to see if you have any resources or if she could contact you. So my message to her, what did I have? Have her to contact me. Have her contact me. She gave me her details. I'm waiting to hear. But when I get this call from her, which will be tomorrow, my conversation is, sweetie, we don't have anything here. So I will point her in the direction of either Vero, which is a transitional home, or I would tell her to go to Walmart. But this is the problem now. She just started a what? New job um. in Port St. Lucie. Mm. So that means now, how is she going to get to work? How are the kids going to get to school? You know, what? A, I'm going to find out everything. But these are messages, calls that I get on a day-to-day -day basis. And it hurts my heart. I think I told the story before when my dog went ahead and found a, um, a rabbit hole. And it had like four or five little babies. I made a call. And I put them in a box. And I drove all the way to Palm City Wild, Wildlife Preserve or whatever they have. And I drove up, and they I know they weren't that happy to see me, but they were happy. They just came. They took them out of the box. I thought you couldn't touch the babies. They were kissing them, and I'm like, these are wild animals. What mm -hmm. you doing? That's what I'm saying in my head. I just said it out loud. But, <laughs> you know, but we have so much attention. Nothing is wrong with loving animals. I love them. I, I've loved cats, not realizing that I was allergic to cats. So I couldn't have a cat. I love dogs. I love birds. I love everything. But the point is, I love my mankind. If we need to start having compassion, where is our compassion? I hear some people say, oh, they want to be homeless. Trust me, people. I have been out there. Mosquito ridden. Florida is a peninsula, so therefore we sit on sand. You dig, you dig deep enough, you're going to hit the ocean. 
okay? So this, we live on sand. We pack dirt on for a stronger foundation. Mosquitoes, I, I'm just starting with that bug. Then we have ticks. Then we got wasp. Then we got ants. We got all kind of stuff out there. You think somebody really wants to live out there? Another thing we don't think of when we think of homeless people, we don't think of children. Yes, they but have they, children. They do have children. And we we talked with Kennedy the yeah, other day, you well, know, and thank God for our four kids. We had her on last, and we had, you know, four kids foster care. But thank goodness that her foster care allows when children to get out, of, turn 18, and they have got six months. The foster families, because it's a Christian base, they still stay with that child. Okay. So though that's for kids foster care and it works out really well. But what happens to the others? There there are many. I told you the story last week of the gentleman that I met that was working at Home Depot and Publix and he had his car that broke down. They ripped the top off and they raped him. This is life. Wow. This is not a story. We don't have to I don't watch movies. I don't need to. I see it every day. This is a daily occurrence for us that live in this, you know, in the nonprofit world. But tell us about the, the individuals you serve. Well, I, as you know, I'm the program coordinator for the senior citizens at the Gifford Youth Achievement Center, which is um, my organization or name is Beyond Special K. Okay. And I'm a partner with um, the Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, which is another program that I do, which is the breathing room. Okay. So what we do on the the Beyond Special K, which right now, um, since the pandemic, we had to shut the program down for the activities that we have, um, which we had exercise class, Bible study class, we had arts and crafts, we would go on field trips um, with the seniors to the movies, to, you know, we call it shop till you drop, oh, you know, during, all right. the, during <laughs> the holidays, we just take them out and then we'll just go to um, a restaurant and eat just to socialize and get them out. Of course. Um, and but a lot of that since the pandemic had broke down to the bare minimum of just basically feeding them mm -hmm. to keep them home safe when the pandemic hit so i was basically what they call an essential worker um <laughs> that Honey, was my we new all, title we all were yeah. we all were essential workers so that was workers. my new, new title you know with that so being an essential worker okay well, we thank you for that. And uh, I know when it came up, I remember I went to T. I said, what do you need? And she said, well, I need A, B, C, D. And we went all the way to Z. And I was like, and she's like, well, if you can. I said, I got you. But it felt good because you see, you see the individual drive up. And we were there last week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. We were out in Gifford last week. And the cars are still driving up. And we have one of Bishop. Who is um, Bishop? Who's home with his grand? His grandson now is visiting. So we can we, do that now. Yeah, yeah, we miss we miss him. But Bishop used to come. People used to ask to pray and bless their babies. You know, give me a word, pray for me, and just talk to someone. Mm -hmm. And you know, it has been just mm -hmm. it has been just wow. That's it. That's the word I can use sometimes because we're on radio, so I can just use wow. <laughs> but um. I want to share something with you that has been a little bit on my heart bothering me, but I'm going to do it after the break. I'm going to see how many board members text me. What you going to talk about? What you going to say? <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to take, we're going to get here a word from one of our sponsors, but I just want to let you know that Careology is on for another six months. And we want to thank Treasure Coast Lexus for that. They are our major sponsor right here on the Treasure Coast where you can get luxury defined, period. That's it. You want good service. You want a luxury vehicle. Visit Treasure Coast Lexus right there on US1 in Fort Pierce. But we will be back and we're going to hear the burning question. What is on Roxy's heart mm -hmm. that she wants to talk about? So <laughs> my texts are coming in, don't you see? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We'll be right back after these messages. Thank you, Claire. Thinking of building your next home or renovating? Come see us at Groza Builders. We will create a home suited for your lifestyle. With years of experience means we give you a complete professional service from a dream to a concept. You will get the best results, best value, best quality is what you get from Groza Builders. Visit us at GrozerBuilders.com. You deserve better. You deserve Groza. 
Why call two men in a truck of the Treasure Coast? You want to move your business without moving a single meeting? You want it handled with no fuss. Lots of stuff, no time to move it. You need the pros that care. That's why you call two men in a truck of the Treasure Coast. Family owned and operated franchise. Call 772-236-0827. 772-236-0827. Movers who care. Visit two men in a truck, treasurecoast.com. This is WPSL Port St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast. Now back to Careology, the science of caring. Once again, here's your host, Roxy. Good evening, good evening, everyone. My name is Roxy, and welcome to Careology, the science of caring. If you're just tuning in with us, we're just rehashing what we have done. And I, Cliff, I can't re- believe I forgot to mention, this is our 10th show. Well, that's right, 10 whole weeks. That's an yeah, accomplishment. That's it. This is our 10th show, and we will be on. We were, go, we were doing this as a test for the six months, and it's going so well that we are going to be finishing off the rest of the year. So we will be on for the rest of the year. We had some really good reviews, really good comments, and I'm happy to say that we're not going anywhere. Um, well, I Cliff Carroll is stuck with me and Greg. There's, there's some of these shows have been on for for. Decades. Oh wow! You never know. It, you never know, huh? But, well, you got a concept like no other. Well, you know what we, our concept for those that are just tuning in, our concept is we want to give resources to the community. There are a lot of people who are in need, so we're just going to do a little, f- just a little backtrack before I get into my news. Our first show was with New Horizons, and there are a lot of people still hurting. You can easily call 211, let them know that you want some help, you're feeling depressed, you're feeling anxiety, they'll put you in touch with New Horizons. They will come to your home free of cost right now, this evening, if you are feeling. If you feel you've reached a wall and you're just slamming, you have nowhere to go, we had New Horizons. Then we had Sequel Healthcare about what they do for children in our community. We had Mrs. Leslie George about finding our purpose. Then we had Kate Priest about grief during the pandemic because all of us were going through something. If it was the grief of losing, going to your job, or the grief of missing your friends and your family, we were all going through some type of grief. Then we had Grace and Dan that talked about healthy relationships. And then we had Graceway Village with Kathy Morning about food disparity and what people are really going through. And after that, we had Colleen Watts with 211. Care Bag is a part of 211. So is your organization, Gifford Youth Center. They're also a part of 211 and anyone. And I found out that 211 is international. So every time I'm on this show, I still learn something. 211 is in the United States. You can call 211 from anywhere in the country, from those listening in Canada, from those listening anywhere. You can call 211 and you can get the same type of support. Maybe it might be a different name, but the support is there for you. And then one of our shows that everyone really loved was Gun Safety for Kids. We really learned a lot. And I'm hoping that that show saved a life because that was important. Um, We'll go on some other shows that we have, but I wanted to talk about our 2021 Lexus UX200. That is not what I have to talk about. But if you are listening for the first time, we have, what's the word I have to use again, Cliff? A drawing. We have a drawing. Thank you. Radio, we have different rules and regulations. See, anything can happen here. Um, We have a drawing, which the word is right here, isn't it? Yes. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) We have a drawing December the 17th at 2 p.m., but we have a drawing coming up in a couple of weeks, June the 17th. And that is for one of our prizes, which is for the grill. So what I'm trying to understand, you, you, ladies and gentlemen, just I'm just going to talk to you two right here. Nobody else. No one else. We have a Lexus UX 200. It's not a lease, Cliff. Right. The taxes are paid, T. Mm-hmm. And I can't understand why people aren't jumping. More people aren't. Not all. Why more people aren't jumping on this. You don't have a car payment. And you can go down to Treasure Coast Lexus and see the car because I did a video. It's on YouTube. Mm-hmm. The car is beautiful, and there's no payments, and the taxes are paid. Well, 
There is a fundraiser involved with it, but it, it's a, it's a, if you're looking for uh, a, a 501c3, is it called? Yeah, we are a 501c3, so this is a donation. Yeah, if you're looking for a 501c3 to adopt, Care Bag is the one. I got that twenty dollars for you, Cliff. Hold on, I got oh. it for you. <laughs> t- give it to Care Bag. Give it to Care Bag. Thank you. you. Well, you know we're we're doing what we do, and I know the the items that Care Bag gives the community. We do not charge them. So the young girls that need their packages monthly, they get it. Then they don't have to pay for it. The elderly people that drive in our bus up through the the, the St. Lucie bus and come to our office, when they get it and they go back on, they don't pay for it. Because if they don't have it, our pandemic is finally getting to a point where we can just whew, take a deep breath. You mm-hmm. understand what I'm saying? But if we don't keep up proper hygiene and this thing comes back, what we saw is going to be a piece of cake. We're going to wish for COVID-19 to come back. Wow. It's going to be something else. When a virus decides to come back and mutate, it's going to come back on a different level. You're going to think you're in a scare. You think you were in a bad movie for 2020? It's going to be the sequel. And sequels are worse. And we're trying to prevent that. You know, we live in a country that is great. This country has always been great. But... I lived abroad, and I think when I came back home, and I think I've said it before, nothing irritated me more than when I came back home and I saw veterans, when I saw born Americans that needed help and needed assistance. And when I traveled, I saw my flag flying over everywhere, helping everybody. Now, don't get me wrong. There is nothing wrong with helping anyone anywhere. That's what the United States of America does. But my daddy used to say, you got to take care of your backyard before you start cleaning somebody else's house. And that's basically what it is. You can't clean someone else's house and walk into filth in yours. And having people living outside in the woods, having people live in their car, that's filth. We need to clean it up. We need to clean it up. And I dare somebody to tell me it's okay. You got the number, 772-340-5090. I'm ready for you. Trust me, it is not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay for me to see children, mothers and fathers living in their car. It's not okay. It's not okay for children not being able to go to school because they don't have clean water, they don't have soap, they don't have toothpaste, they smell, they're being bullied. It's not okay. So Care Bag, this is what we do. We try to make it okay so that children, families can go to work. How many of you are working with someone right now do you, well, let me not ask. So many of you are working with people right now, and T, you know this is true, that are homeless, just that you don't know it. Right. They park their car God knows where. They come to work, and then you're talking about, oh, this person smells a little, uh, a little funky. You know, they got a little odor to them. Maybe they missed the soap, or maybe their water wasn't working, or they give you all type of excuses, or they're doing bird baths in the bathroom. Nine times out of ten, so many people work with homeless individuals, Cliff, and don't know. They do not know. A lot of my homeless guys, a lot of my homeless young ladies, they work. They work, but guess what? They can't afford a place to live. Rent is extremely high. It's it's easier to buy a house than it is to rent one these days. Yeah, Yeah, it's extremely Mm -hmm. high. So let's, let's just do the math. You have to go get a house. You have to rent a place, okay? How much are you going to pay for rent? If it's a normal two-bedroom, at least $700, $800. That's in Vero. That's oh, low, yeah. yeah that's that's, that's that, you okay. in Vero. Yeah. Okay. Honey, we import St. Lucie. We're talking about twelve, sixteen hundred dollars $1,600. Hello. I just talked to someone that lives in a two-bedroom, and they're in tradition, and they're paying $1,800 a month. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's split that, and let's just say you. Let's okay. just say 800 so you have to come up with first, last, and security. How much is that? Yep. Three times That's usually what the rent is. The rent's only a third of that. First and last and security are usually the same figure mm-hmm. multiplied by three. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. So you have to come up with that. So I'm not a mathematician. My husband's not here, so I'm not afraid to use a calculator. So that's $2,400 you have to come up with. Plus, you need a deposit for FP&L. You need a deposit for water, and that's depending upon your credit. Now, 
I'm going to say some of you might laugh what I'm going to say, but what kind of credit you think you're going to have when the person next to you was the palm tree that you lived against? Can we have your last information of your last address? I was the palm tree behind this department store off of US-1. Excuse me? They, nobody would rent to you. So you can't tell anyone you were homeless. So that means that everything else is going to go up. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Dilemma after dilemma. This it's is, yeah. Uh, this is dilemma after dilemma after dilemma. So imagine you're, you're homeless. You're trying to live day by day. Gas is skyrocketing. If you live in your car, let's say they live in their car. So at least they got a little AC. Right. But if you're living in a tent and your tent is leaking, this and that, the money you're using is just to get by day by day. When do you get a chance to save that plus, plus get security that you can get into a place? Th- we're just keeping it real. We're not making anything up. We're just keeping it real, people. Right. You see what I'm saying? We're not making anything up. We're keeping it real. So for those that say, oh, they want to be homeless, I guarantee you. So let me correct that. Yes, there are some that have lived out in the woods so long, they don't know anywhere else. They don't know what else to do. You put them in an apartment and you tell them they have to pay light, they have to pay water, they have to do this. They don't understand that. They've been living out there so long they don't understand. I get paid. Why Why do I need to do that? They've been so ostracized from society. They don't have, they don't understand the concept of bills and budget. It, it just, it's, it, it escapes them. You see what I'm saying? It right. really escapes them. So what do we do as a community to help those that are here? We need a shelter. I'm so tired of people telling me, I have some, I'm not going to say who it is. I have the politician tell me, if you build it, they'll come. I said, sweetie, they're already already here. here. (laughs) They're already here. They are already here. This is the Treasure Coast for a reason. They are already here. I think it was so destructive for them to tell me that. Because every time I see them, that's all I remember. If you build it, they'll come. How dare you? You know, how dare you? These are the same people that can vote. And don't think I don't tell them. I'm not politically correct. I'm, we don't do politics, but I tell them. I think that's so destructive. That lets you know how we think about mankind. And it's dangerous. These are, these are, these are young people. These are our future. And if we don't put them, they become cycles. All kind of stuff happens to them. Because guess what? Nobody cares. People, people see them walking into a store. Get out. I see the way some people treat them, and they are people. They're a mother. They're a father. They're somebody's mother. They're somebody's father. They're somebody's daughter. They're somebody's son, and you wouldn't want that for yours, so why would you do that to anyone else? What else I noticed, too, you just made a point of saying um, if they are, they'll come, they'll build, but they're building, but it's not affordable. Yeah. Oh, we're building some beautiful some apartments beautiful homes out here. Apartments Big money can be in, made in building. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, apartments but they're in is knocking out the the homeless places that people that's all they can afford, and building bigger, but they can't afford. And now now where they go? Even Section Eight housing has other bills involved. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Light bills, utilities. Well, utilities covers water, sewer, electricity, sometimes even garbage collection. Mm-hmm. And I've talked to some individuals that work in that industry, and they say the list is so long. Some people actually stay on the list, and it's not only them, it's generation after generation after generation. So when do we break that cycle? I believe you should have people on a waiting list for X amount of time. Mm-hmm. I think that if you're on a waiting list for affordable housing, I believe you got to put skin in the game. Don't think Roxy's oh want to give wants to give everybody everything. I don't think so. I think you need to put skin in the game to show you want to get out of your situation. We need to enable folks. That's it. But the, there are some folks that need help. It's okay. So someone says, well, Roxy, you're a nonprofit, so you give. No, what we offer. Is act, we are the bridge to help you just get through the rest of the month. Mm-hmm. Our clients come to us. Each client is not duplicated unless there is an emergency. They come to us once a month for that little 
that little help. My mother mm-hmm. called me and said, Miss Roxy, I really need some diapers. I said, you know what? I said, we're already closed. I said, but why don't, when you get to the office, why don't you give me a call? She said, I'm down to my last two. I'm not going to get paid until the week. I don't have enough. This is where CareBag comes in to be that bridge. Instead of that mom sitting at home and deciding someone's going to just give her a check, she's out working because it takes pull-ups, 15 to 20 pull-ups a week some mothers have to bring to different daycares just so their child can go to school. Mm -hmm. So I found out this week that, and I know it's a system, a lot of these daycares have a system, they change them every X amount of hours. Whether the child is dry or whether the child is wet, Mm -hmm. they change them because they put it on the pamper the time they change them. And I understand that. You want to keep kids clean. You don't want to rash. But trust me, they're expensive. If it's not wet, don't change it. Go check again. Do your job. Mm -hmm. You know, check again. That's what we're paying you. That's what mothers are paying you for. Not to waste their pull-ups, but to check, but to call and check it. So, you know, there's so much going on in different systems, but we have to really, we have to look at how we do things. And I think sometimes we're doing things a little bit backwards. So the good news I wanted to talk about, can I have a drum roll? We have a drum roll, Clint? Ooh, I, That's I a good. Applause. We have to look into that. Yeah, I'm going to have to set up a whole new bank for that. <laughs> uh, I made Cliff get on his game. Well, the guy the guy at the ballpark, he uh-huh. has all he has one of these machines okay. where you've got 50 different themes or sound effects uh-huh. per channel. Okay. And there's uh, there's there's like 10 channels. Actually, there's 50 channels per bank. Oh, okay. So we got to we we got to upgrade we we got to yeah. we got to get some we got to get some more sponsors in here. We Did you say get, we need more sponsors for this show? We need sponsors for this show. We need sponsors for WPSL. That's what I'm talking about. You take care of Carology folks and uh, it's tax deductible. That's it. And yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you got to show that you that you gave something and and that helps. You're helping people and the system is helping you. How That's it. That? Yeah. So I'm going to give you the fir- give you the first good news. If you are interested in winning this beautiful car, or you want to get a car for your, f- if you want to try to win, if you want to go into the drawing, let me correct myself. If you want to go into the drawing for the 2021 Lexus UX 200, you can go to www.givecarebag.com. All the rules and regulations are there for your donation. But June the 17th is coming up, and we have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful charcoal propane grill from Lowe's and Jensen Beach. Wouldn't it be nice if the winner of that grill set up a little Let's Feed the Homeless Day on the Roxy event? Oh, man, you're just nice. reading my mind. Boy, really? I'm going to put Uh-oh. you on the payroll. Oh, we don't have a payroll. I'm going to put you on my volunteer list. Uh, uh, put me on the volunteer list for think tank type think of tank. stuff. I like think that. Think tank. Yeah. That's, what, yeah, that, that's, that's you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's me. But that's what? In September the 17th, we have another prize. Ooh, and that yeah. is a JVC 55-inch 4K smart display TV. Wow. Ooh. And she that is from, that. oh, I had to learn. I say it so much, I just know it. <laughs> and we have that to thanks of two men in a truck, Treasure uh-huh. Coast. Who will probably be delivering it, right? Let me guess. Oh. Well, it all depends <laughs> where they are because we are. this prize is nationwide. So if you oh, have family okay. in Georgia, if you have family in South and North Carolina, they can play. If yeah. they put in their zip code and their zip code is not taken, then they cannot play. It's just that simple. Okay. It's, it's just that simple. So before we go to the next commercial break in a few minutes, I have a really something. I'm just itching and excited. Cliff, wet and tea. When is the last time you got dressed up to go out? Ooh. I like to ask that because well, this is just May of 2021. It's easier to ask a woman that than to <laughs> ask a guy that. Okay, so I'll turn to T. When is the last time you got dressed up? Other than now, because you look so pretty. Thank you. In your animal. You. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're like, what? what's going on in I here? Know. We just have fun in here. That's all. I mean, I, I have to be. My mom raised me this way, so, you know, hey, from 
just yeah. from the mask to everything. From the mask to everything. I would have had the scarf too, but you know, I was usually, like a little bit. Usually I'm like that, but I wasn't feeling that. I thought that, that was a hand purse. Oh, it's yes. just the mask. <laughs> it it's matches the, the outfit. It, the yeah. mask yes. matches the outfit. You can't get any better than that. No. But when is the last time you went out decked out, black tie, looking sharp? While you think about that, I'm going to say something. So, let me change my voice. So, everyone, if you are looking for an evening of elegance on October the 9th, 2021, and you would like to be wined and dined to the highest degree of cuisine and entertainment, set your calendars for October the 9th, 2021 at 645 at the Wyndham Grand Harbor in Jupiter. Ooh. Oh, yes. Care Bag is back with their signature gala. Absolutely. And we are going, we're, we're, look, we're doing it bigger. We're going home and we don't go home. Oh. We are doing it big and you are hearing more to come. But if you are interested, I just want you to put on your calendar, save that date because it is going to be a signature extravaganza that you have never seen before. And our theme is dinner at Tiffany's. Ooh. Black tie, gala, valet parking. I mean. Shiny shoes and all. Shiny yeah. shoes and all. <laughs> they have the best cuisine chef known down there. It's in a beautiful area. And if you know what, you drive down and you say, you know what? I want to spend the night, but my goodness, two hotels, you just got to have two days. No, you do not. You can go ahead and book a room for one night at a beautiful price. But I'm not going to tell you that until I have all the information for you. I have it, but I can't give you. But October the 9th. Okay. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that. But we're going to take a break and we're going to hear back from one of our great sponsors. That's right. We're going to hear about that drawing. Yes. Thank you, Cliff. Right. You're excited, huh? Yeah, you're listening to Careology, the science of caring with Roxy and her friends. Every week they she has somebody in here. We'll be right back. How would you like to win a Lexus UX200 with taxes paid? No car payment. That sounds terrific. Go to givecarebag.com. All proceeds go to help our local nonprofit, Carebag Incorporated, where they provide access to proper hygiene to those in our community in need. We also have two additional prizes. Go to givecarebag.com to find out how you could win a beautiful 2021 Lexus UX200. No lease, taxes paid. Drawing December 17th, 2021. This is WPSL Port St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast. And don't forget, give carebag.com as we return to Carology with Roxy. Give carebag.com. You can go there and you can get all our information. If you are just tuning in, we are having a drawing on. December the 17th at 2 p.m. And we are going to be picking the winner for the 2021 Lexus UX200. And if you're in the local area and you want to go ahead and see how their car looks, you can just pop on down to Lexus Treasure Coast right here in Fort Pierce. And they would be happy to show you that beautiful car. And we want to say thank you so much for your sponsorship to the Lexus and to the Toyota Stewart family. Awesome awesome business if you're looking for a car doesn't matter which one you want make your way down to lexus treasure coast or make your way down to treasure coast steward toyota i said that backwards but toyota of steward treasure coast i know they're gonna kill me but it's in steward and it's treasure coast and it's toyota because that's where i got my vehicle and i'm loving it you know what i love more than anything else i love my after service Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't get that a lot. No. You buy a car and people are just done with you. Oh, yeah, you got your car. Hey, you on your own. But, oh, no, 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 no. My car gets detailed every week. If I got somewhere to go, if I have the time, yes. But if I don't, when my car needs cleaning, I just bring it there. Mm -hmm. And it gets clean. I get the after service. Or I get a call, Mrs. Brown, is everything okay? That is service. You can't, you can't get service is a dead art. 
right now. Right. And we know it. Come mm-hmm. on. Let's be real. Let's talk. We're not yeah. talking about karate. How is service? You walk into a store, Cliff, yeah. and they look at you when you walk by. When someone, I'm just going to let you know, if you know me and you see me, and I walk into your store and you don't say anything, you're going to see what an about face looks like. I uh, turn around because I'm not going to spend my money with you. And if you see them looking at your shoes, then uh, that's a good time to leave too because they're going to check out your shoes to see what they think you can afford mm, because wow. of your shoes. Yeah, but you, you better know? be careful because the richest people I know wear flip-flops. I know. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the richest people, I'm talking about millionaires and billionaires I know, they wear flip-flop sandals and the beach shoes. So you better not look at people's shoes. But but customer service is a lost art. Yeah. You walk into a store and, you know, that's a lost art. Nobody wants to say hi. Nobody, you know, they want to look no. at you like they're, they're something, you know, I'm not even going to go there because we're on live radio. I don't want to. I don't have a button I can press. What, what do you want to buy? Give me the money. Give me the money. Yeah, Give me no, the money. it's a lost art. Yeah. But going in there and getting my car at Treasure Coast of Stewart and Toyota, I mean Treasure Coast Toyota of Stewart, I had good service and I had good after service. To me, that's important. When you're spending that type of money to get a vehicle, you want to know you can go back. You want to know if you have a question, it will be answered, and I'm happy. And at Treasure Coast Toyota, they call you a guest. Yes. You're a guest. Yes. So Stuart, they call you a guest, and I love that. And and they make sure that, and there's no hassle. There's no hassle. So Mm -hmm. I am happy of the service they provide, and I'm happy that they're happy with me to go ahead and and be a good sponsor to Care Back. And we love and we appreciate all of them. They work hard, and we appreciate that. So I can't believe how fast time is going. Can I say something about the Lexus? Sure. Go ahead. You got a mic, honey? Okay. Well, I want to do a shout out to Lexus because um, I had my dream truck was Mm -hmm. a a GX 470. Um, And when I had my truck, that's where I went to get my vehicle service. Oh, and I loved everything when from the time I walked in to the time I left and they send you a like a little letter in the mail or a card. So it meant a whole lot to me and to, to go to Lexus. Everybody's so. going to think I planned that. I mm-hmm. swear to <laughs> my no. Jesus, I did not plan that. But the thing is, when it's good service, Cliff, yeah. you can't help but talk about it. Absolutely. Yeah. That's it. You can't help but talk about it. We don't want any liars on the show. We want people no. to tell the truth. If it's that, then that's what it is. The lack of customer service at some places, the information spreads faster than if you had customer oh, service. Yeah. The bad news spreads gets like spread. wildfire. Yeah. But when you hear good service, you never hear about it. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it's us to us who have a platform to yeah. talk about it. Yeah. You know, and and that's what we want to do. I wanted to come on tonight and I just wanted to say thank you for listening and thank you for indulging me and thank you for understanding. Thank you for calling in. Thank you for watching. You know, I have people, I get messages from all over the world. I like your show from Holland, from Canada, from Michigan. People are listening and they're learning and that's what Careology is about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a plea. If it sits on your heart that you love what we do, you appreciate what we do, and you want to see us continually doing this for our community, I'd like you to go to our website at www.givecarebag.com and make a donation towards us because we want to keep doing what we're doing. Right now, with everything that we do, there is not a nonprofit that does what we do on the Treasure Coast for proper hygiene. There are many good nonprofits. You see me have them on here weekly, every week. I support every nonprofit because we are all different in our own right. But Care Bag to me is special. And I know what it does. And I see the individuals. And I would hate to know that we can't provide to them just because the lack of. You know right. what that means? Just yeah. the lack of. Because if we close down all these mothers and fathers and babies and homeless individuals and other people in the sector that we serve, you know, all the case managers and case workers that come to us or call us about children in school, this one in school, this one not going to school, or the, the truancy officer, or we deal with the public defender's office. You know, yes, we started out doing bags in the woods then we started out doing the mobile shower service and someone's like roxy i didn't know you do all of that but how all of this came about is while we were doing showers cliff 
they kept coming up to us asking, do you have toothpaste? Do you have deodorant? Do you have mm-hmm. underwear? Do you have pampers? These are things that, they, that homeless people just can't No, these weren't get. homeless people. These We were serving the homeless. There were families they just were coming oh. out. Do you have this? Do you have that? Right. So I said, okay, well, let's start the mobile hygiene pantry. Then when the mobile hygiene pantry started, then we noticed we needed another mobile shower. Oh. Then after the other mobile shower, I said the pandemic hit. And I said, okay, we can't go out. They're not coming out, so let's have a place they can come to us. Yeah. Then we found out young women and, and older women couldn't get to work, couldn't get to school because they didn't have simple things as pads and tampons. So all of this that has been created on the care bag came out out of every program. Every time something happens, we saw a need and we met the need. That's what we do. We just meet the need. Well, if it's called care bag, it requires people who actually care to participate with it. <laughs> He's the think tank, isn't yeah. he? What, That's what a it. concept, though. I mean, That's it. That's what that, we do. That 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 could spread all over the world. You're going to get I hope these organizations would. are going to pop up everywhere. I hope it. That's a dream. I hope it would. Care bag is. We're going to be five years old. We're we're unofficially five, but we're officially a five hundred one c three of four years. And we want to continue doing what we're doing, and we want to be a god bless organization. So if it's on your heart, because we don't help just the homeless, we don't help just the indigent, we help anyone that is in need. These can be your grandparents. Yeah, because I appreciate, and I'm saying this, you know already, but um, Care Bags and Roxy, this is just like another sister or big sister to me. caring just like I would care for my elderly and for her at the beginning of the pandemic and most of our seniors they were afraid Mm -hmm. and for you to step up to give me masks for our seniors meant tremendously a great deal to let them know we care about them as well even some of the ones that was um, people in the community was making masks but for you to come out and give me a whole box of masks to give to our seniors, it meant a whole lot. And then all the people that came through the drive through they were getting masks. So it was like a godsend, you know what I'm saying? That's so great I, example. Appreci- wow. I appreciate everything well, you're, you do. You're very you know? welcome. And guess what? So, At Care Bag, that's what we do. Yeah. And that. I always had this, this model of saying, we care because we share. Yeah. That's, that's it. What I always do. <laughs> You're right on time. Look at that. Right on time, Cliff. But you know what? We want to keep doing what we're doing. So if you'd like to support us through our drawing with the car and the other prizes we have, or if you're interested in our gala that's coming up, if you wanted to get dressed up, if you wanted to have that Katherine Hepburn look, and you wanted to put on that black tie, that bow tie, those shiny shoes, bring it to the cl- You don't even have to shop. Just take it to the cleaners. Nobody knew. We missed you one whole year. So that means you can just take it to the cleaners, mm-hmm. pull it in, pull it out, whatever you got to do, and just come and look your best. Because this is going to be one crazy crazy gala when i mean crazy i mean crazy good mm-hmm. well you ought to be happy and celebrate because uh well, well just the just the the mask response from uh from care bag the, you know getting masks to people who, who just couldn't go out and buy them right. what were people using before the mask probably anything that they could wrap around their face that's, that's and true. we had we had hundreds of people cliff i shared it i remember i showed t we had people from um utah washington state from alaska that were just sending masks to us. They were making masks and sending us. And Channel 25 and Channel 5 News did a little expose on Care Bag. And a gentleman with Unity Company down in Delray heard about us and bought us almost 80,000 masks. And we went to Delray and we picked it up. So it's just not on the Treasure Coast or West Palm. They are individuals all over who are assisting us. So if you want to be that one and you want to help, we need your help. We want our doors open. And I don't, I think it'll be dismissed if I don't mention it. We need help and we need you to keep doing what we're doing that we can help those in our community for the wellness of our community. And different people have different ways that they can contribute. Yes, they can. Like you heard about the people in other states that sent masks and made mm-hmm. masks. But there's other things that uh, that we all face every day that uh, we need to be ready for. And Care Bag will be there. I yes, know it. I we, and, and we only have two, three. He said three, but I'm thinking two. 
what you have to remember if there is a national if there is a hurricane or a national disaster here on the treasure coast mm-hmm. the one thing that you can be sure of you had two mobile shower units here because the worst thing in a disaster is you don't have water to bathe or to help your baby. I need everyone to think about that. That's we will be ready. That's where diseases spread during uh, terrible the hurricane, that and yeah. we are prepared. We have generators. We are prepared to help our community in any way. So what I want to do on our tenth show is say thank you all. Thank you, our listeners. Thank you, Carol and Greg, the owners of the station WPSL. Thank you, Cliff. He is my main man. He is my he is my go-to. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter what guest, guest I have. Thank you to every last one of my guests. Teresa, thank you for being with us on our 10th show. This was my little celebration. And I want to thank everyone coming out. But next week, I think I have one of my... I'm excited about next week. We have the CEO of Children's Services, St. Lucie County, Mr. Sean Boyle. He is awesome. He's going to be here, and he's going to be telling us how he's protecting our children. We are one of his... We are now the contributor of children's services. We are a sponsor of children's services that we can help our children in need. So stay tuned for our show next week. But I just want to say thank you. God bless. And we appreciate each of one of you. And if you want to go ahead and contribute to Care Bag and it's on your heart, go to www.givecarebag.com. Givecarebag.com. Can you register there for that grill? You can, yes, you can. The minute you go on there, it'll show you the rules. That's the next big drawing. Yes, the big drawing is coming. No, the grill is in... The grill is in June, yeah. June 17th, which is a couple weeks away. You can get your tickets. All the tickets are for all the prizes, so you can't oh, lose. Oh, oh, okay. You so can't. If you decide you want 25 tickets, you want 12 tickets for $25, those tickets go for everything. doesn't matter. So you're Excellent. good to go. But if you'd like to go ahead and God placed it on your heart, you'd like to help us, please go to www.give.com carebag.com and we'll greatly appreciate it see you next week my name is roxy this is careology the science of caring you guys have a wonderful safe good night and god bless see you next week careology the science of caring and of course if you're looking for a 501c3 to adopt it's none other than carebag and carebag brings you careology with roxy every every tuesday evening WPSL with archives on YouTube. Go to WPSLTV.com to see them. And this just so happens to be WPSL Port St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast on Google Home, Alexa, and the app on your smartphone. It's 7 o'clock.